Again? Hey, are your phones being weird right now? Yup, it's the electromagnetism again. I think? Not totally sure. But what else could it be? Martians? I guess so, actually. Okay, well, um, I'm going home. <laughs> My parents are probably freaking out about whatever's happening. See you in school tomorrow. Bye. Come on in. Hey, I'm gonna make dinner. Mom left a bunch of stuff in the freezer. Is it pizza? Definitely zero chance it's unhealthy in any way. Be right there. What are you making? Whatever was in the tub labeled Monday dinner. I thought about Tuesday dinner, or even Thursday dinner. But I'm not sure we're ready to embrace that level of anarchy. Ooh, watch out, class president. Don't want to be caught throwing words like anarchy around. Very funny. Hey, you're not the one getting five texts from mom today. Five. Yikes. There should be a way to cut off parents after they reach a certain number of texts per day. She does it to you, too? Actually, no. They've both kind of ignored me all week since they left. It feels... strange. Kind of like I'm forgetting my keys, but they're just in my pocket the whole time. Yep. Yeah, half the texts she sends me are for you anyway. Tell your sister, make sure Fatima does her chores. No, I mean, she's trying. Sometimes she calls you Fang. Does she? Yeah. Let me find it. Well, I know she has. She, she's doing her best. We have spices, right? Oh, yes. Brilliant. It needs... It needs a spice. Pepper never hurts. Shaking it up a little, huh? And a sauce. Fish sauce? Are you sure you want to risk it? That might make it taste a little... fishy. Ugh. Here, let me taste. Oof. More sauce. Stat. Better? Uh, I mean, it's probably as good as it'll get. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Anyway, I can't give you a ride to school tomorrow either. Unless you want to get up early. I have presidential duties to attend to. Assembly prep. Exciting. Oh, also, I think Mom and Dad would like to hear from you sometime. I'm fine being the middleman, but... I think they're waiting for you to reach out? I'm the one who hasn't heard from them. If they want to talk to me that bad, they have my number. Yes, but I think they're afraid. Cool. Great. I mean, not afraid, but they don't know what to say. Really? Mom usually has plenty of things to say. She's not exactly shy with her opinions. Sorry, I think I'm phrasing it all wrong. They miss you. They want to know how you are. And there's only so much I can say to them. I know you think they don't take you seriously, but... I think they're trying. Like the kind of chill piano music you played is perfect for them to try and understand you. You're just kind of different from them. You know? Trust me. That is not something I'm ever able to forget in this house. Not what I meant. It's not like I love how they are with me all the time, either. Whatever. Thanks for dinner. Tell Mom I'm studying math 
and wearing a pink dress. Scientists announced today the discovery of a previously unobserved asteroid, estimated to be roughly 10 kilometers in diameter. Designated CO103, the object shows a rather high possibility of entering the solar system and a non-insignificant chance of collision with the planet. Astronomers were quick to add that very little is known about the orbit and speed of the asteroid in these early stages. And trajectory predictions are very likely to change as more data is collected. That's right, Mary. Though we know very little, scientists say the asteroid's electromagnetic atmosphere may cause some minor interference with electronics. And we'll be right back after this commercial break. <laughs> Thank you. 